All right, there's no good way to keep paint off the floor, so we're going to uh, put a kind of a black floor mat underneath this thing right here. And you can see we painted some other things on this. Red also, the piece up behind the seat. I'm going to paint that uh, steering piece right there also. But uh, see if we can get some primer on this thing. Maybe you guys can watch me do it. Shaking these cans right here isn't the easiest thing in the world for me to do, so I cheated and I took it in and I had Corky uh, shake it up for me. So we'll see see how well it works here, and we'll see if I can see if I can get this done. turn this around we're going to do the other side we'll let it drop in the hole on the side that is not painted now this side here is a little a little more rough in here this area right in here it's kind of rough and so is this now I did wipe it down with some Essa or some uh, oh what do you call it scotch bright and such like that so I could it is smooth and then I'd have washed it and then I have cleaned it then with uh, brake cleaner so we'll see we'll see how it holds up like I say this isn't a restoration project and in fact I don't even know how many coats of paint I'm going to put on it because I wanted to try to match the uh, the original tractor color so you know, I, I know the wheels are going to be shiny. That is another reason we are using the rattle cans because I know in a year or so it'll fade a little bit. So maybe it'll more than match the tractor, and we'll just have to go from there and see how how it looks. But we're going to do the back wheels too. Pretty sure I'm going to paint. Uh, like I say, I've got a set of rims for the back of that. The back of this tractor and we are going to paint them I'm trying to think of a color I don't know if I want to go they're supposed to be silver I think so I don't know we may do silver and then just do the regular red on there and maybe just do a coat or so and just see how I'm gonna see how these look first and then we'll decide how we're going to do the back so go ahead and we'll get some more go ahead and we'll get this covered here with primer Rattle cans. All right, we will uh, let that dry. See if I can do this without getting it all over me. And. Uh, Get the red paint. See if we can get some red on it. Well, that's good enough for that side. This thing turned around, see if I can keep from dropping the painted, new painted part down in the hole. Let's see. There we go. All right, this is the side that everybody's going to see. Alright guys, Monday morning, I painted these yesterday, which would have been Sunday, and they are a tick rough, but you also got to remember this is not a, uh, this is not a restoration, this is just something to make them 
look red because they almost look really dark. And I, but really, I think they turned out fine. Actually, these are the, this is the back side of them right here. And the inside, the outside looks a lot better, which is down right now. But what we're going to do is we're going to load these up in the back of the truck on this skid. And we're going to take them into Urbana and put a uh, new set of tires on these things. So let's get them loaded up and we'll get them into Urbana. All right, as you can see around here, it's, it's uh, cold, yucky. Well, it's not really cold. I guess it'd be about 40 degrees out right now. What happened was yesterday, Sunday, we had, oh, I don't know, we got about two inches of snow in about an hour here. And then as fast as the snow came, it started raining. And it rained almost all night. We have pretty well mess around here. We still do have a little bit of ice in the driveway and such. But it's going to be a good day to work inside, that's for sure. So let's get these wheels loaded up and get into town. Let's go to town and get some tires. I was hoping to do this an hour ago, but I've been in on the phone and everything else, so. But that's just kind of the way it is. So we are heading to Urbana, to the Heritage Cooperative, and we're gonna get us a couple tires mounted. My dash light is on saying that I have a low front tire, so we're going to fix that while we're here. So we're going to pull in here. Tower. Look at that paint job, isn't it beautiful? Good, buddy. It's red. All right, there's the new ones. He ain't gonna hurt nothing, man. So they hate scratching all up for you? Ah, isn't any big deal. I don't mean the first one to do. No, you're not gonna be the first, and I'll probably scratch the crap out of them when I get home. The comments we got they were better they said our fairgrounds was better than state saying most their state, state fairs. fairs yeah i was a, that kind of made me proud a little bit you what that kind of made me proud a little bit oh yeah man i mean that's that's why I, our fair is amazing oh, man fuck yeah. our fair is amazing well you know i wanted to showcase our animals more than anything because oh, yeah. dude nobody has fairs like ours really anymore nope. i got a buddy out in uh oregon and he said their biggest thing is agriculture and forestry out there, and there isn't hardly any of that at their fair.
Put death in all the red paint. He don't know. <laughs> so we're going home and we're going to adjust the front end on this thing. Get the toe right. Get that right and get the wheels in on 30 inches like they're supposed to be. Well, they said on clear out. Yeah. They stuck good. I doubt it. Man, everything's come apart on that tractor. Just awesome, man. So I think it's going to be just fine. There's one. One down, one to go. I don't know how loud it'd be. It might just slide up. It might. I think we're ready for it. <laughs> that was it. That was uneventful. Yeah. Lots of times they pop when you put nose up on the rim like that, so that's the reason we were watching it. I'll make Kylie speed that up and make it look like he did it perfect. <laughs> yeah, do that. <laughs> Pretty sure it's a valve stem anyway. That's where it sounded like the leak was coming from. And what I could see of it. Oh yeah. I think it does. It was just a little. Yeah, it's bubbling there. Yeah. Cool. That's where your sensor's at too. We're gonna watch him break it right here. Yeah. Hey. Right down there in that hole is where the valve stem goes. And there's a bunch of corrosion down in there. In fact, I don't know how well it's gonna show up on the camera, but that's usually the reason these aluminum things leak here and the wheels will leak. Wheels will also leak around where the bead goes. So lots of times they have to glue that, but clean it up and it should be fine.
you're not going to paint the whole track? No. I'm hoping not anyway. Actually, it cleaned up really pretty nice. Did it? I haven't done the, we haven't done the fenders yet. You want to buff out all right? Yeah, a lot of it buffed out really nice. The hood did. Now you can still, there's still some some uh, blemishes in it, stuff like that, you know, but it's a 50 year old tractor, so. Right. That's kind of how I'm wanting to leave it. So you're gonna incorporate it in the everyday farm work or is this gonna be a center? Oh, it's going to be, we're going to use it to mow with it, stuff like that. I think it'll be a good tractor to mow with. Yeah. Big mower. Got the tires loaded in the back of the truck. We'll go home and unload them. Start working on that front end on that tractor. All right, guys, we got our tires home. Um, we'll wait down here so you can see what it looks like. Clean it up here a little bit. But uh, pretty, pretty happy with them. You can see it right there. But uh, not a perfect paint job in there, but fitting for what the tractor is. So I'm pretty happy with it, and I think it's going to be pretty decent. So, we're going to cut this video off here. Next video, we're going to be uh, moving the wheels on the tractor and stuff. Um, we did start into it a little bit, start videoing on it, and they're stuck like a son of a gun. So, a little bit more work on it, and we'll be getting it. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope to see you down at Louisville.